All praises to Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders in New York, JMS, and honors to your brothers out there to teach the truth in the four corners of the earth. All right, so here we go, uh, Simon Atov, you know, tell them all lies again about the ancient Israelites and their descendants and who they are today. You know, you're going to see basically how he, basically he hates Israel, 12 tries to Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but he's spreading them all lies, so just going to play it. And uh, counter, counter, um, counter his lies with scriptures. All right. Shalom. You're listening to Rabbi Simon Altef from Vienna in Austria. Today we're going to discuss a couple of things. Number one, ancient Israelites. Who were they? Or more importantly, who were Abraham's ancestors? And we'll also discuss who is a Jew by Torah standards, not by perception, but by what scripture writes about the real people of Israel, and then the forefathers, the ancestors of those people, such as Abraham, and going further back to Noah. So a lot of people ask me this question. They say, you say you are a Kohen, but you don't look like me. And this question usually comes from black Americans are a little bit confused about their history, uh, especially about Israelite history. You see, this guy, he, he he's upset that uh, the so-called Negroes in America went to the fact they're Israelites. Like and this guy is Elon, so-called Pakistani. Most of you have. Because I think the more important question should be, when we look at this, we're going to get the answers that you're seeing. And you'll see later he'll mention on uh, our elders count, Jim Mess New York, and, I, and our count, uh, Jim Mess Chicago. That Abraham lived in Iraq, and that's where he was brought up, that's where his family was. So traditionally, most Christian scholars, stroke Jewish scholars, probably say that he came out of Iraq. And that percep that's a, what, I, what I say, perception. That perception is entirely wrong because Abraham did not come out of Iraq, neither did his family. Since most of you probably never left your state, probably never left your country, so you wouldn't know any better. See, he assumed that brothers in, in uh, so the Israelite camps never left the country. We, we always traveled around the world, most of our brothers, man. Cut this idiot, man. Alright. <clears throat> We're going to show according to scriptures where uh, our forefather, um, Abraham, whose name was Abram before that, where he, where he came from according to the scriptures. Right. And this is the blue letter Bible. You can look this up in uh, Hebrew, too. And another thing uh, uh, Esau does is uh, he changed some of the Torah. So if you don't get like a real clear, um, you won't get one of the old Torahs. Like I say, like back from the 1950s to uh, through the 90s, you know, probably early 2000s before they started changing the uh, Hebrew, started changing the English translation from the Hebrew translation of Torahs. You know, but uh, this blue letter Bible has Hebrew uh, had the translation from uh, the original Hebrew language. You can see tools right there. All right, all right, and you can see right here it says what? It says Genesis eleven, and uh, let's we'll start with uh, all right, start with twenty seven. It says Genesis eleven twenty seven. Now these are the generation of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, Haran, Haran begat Lot, and Haran died before his father Terah in the land of Naphtali, Ur of uh, uh, Chaldees. All right, all right. So his intent was Ur and Chaldees. Where's Where's Chaldees at, man? All right. It says eleven thirty one. I'm gonna show you. Look, and he. Terah took Abraham his son and Lot the son of Haran his son's son and Sarah his uh, daughter-in-law his son's Abraham's wife and they went 
from them from Ur Chadis to go into the land of Canaan that came to Aram and dwelt there. Alright. So I'm gonna show you where Ur of Chadis is is uh it's over there in um it's over there in Iraq. Alright. Cause the ancient Chinese were uh Babylonians, man. Alright. Cause you go on the scripture where I will go to Isaiah forty seven. It mentions uh, Chinese and Babylon in the same breath. All right. It says right here, it says, Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, carry America to Babylon. All right. And Babylon is over there in Iraq. All right. It says, uh, O daughter of Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more bear the tender and delicate. All right, so I'll just read that part just to show you where. Uh, now let's look up Chaldeans. Okay, come on. All right, it said Chaldea territory in Lower Mesopotamia, born on the Persian Gulf, inhabitants of Chaldea, living on the Lower Euphrates and Tigris. All right, so this all there in Iraq, man. Inhabitants of Babylonia. All right, so we don't see what Babylonia is. All So we got Babylonia. Let's go to Wikipedia. All right, and you can see right here, it's uh, Iraq. All right, I'm gonna show you where Iraq at. It says, well, Babylonia was an ancient Akkadian speaking state and culture area based in central southern Mesopotamia, present day Iraq. All right. Not no damn Turkey, man. All right. So, you know, that guy's a damn liar, man. All right. Fucking heathen. Come on. Yes. You know, it's a lot for the, uh, you know, the interruption. Satan on my tab be working right like I want to today. You know, that's all right though. We still gonna get the truth out. Right. All right, so we just proved that lie. in Turkey, surely 
couldn't be from Iraq, could he? So you have to you just proved that he came from Iraq. Is going on. So did he originate from Turkey? Did his ancestors originate from Turkey? Well, again, unless you really know ancient history, you're gonna be guessing, second guessing. It's 